Hello and welcome to Pro Tips for Better Balance. I'm Kelly Doro. Today we are working in the um, the core strengthening series or the ab strengthening series. We've done core stability which helps us with our overall balance and stability and helping us prevent falls. We also want to strengthen those muscles um, in a slightly different way. So you will need a chair if you want to grab a chair go ahead and grab one and then come on back and we'll get started. Today we are doing ab crunches, seated ab crunches. You probably have done these maybe a million years ago. I know I used to do these like in uh, elementary school and maybe middle school, um, but we are not going to get on the floor today. That's the that's the big uh, benefit of what we're doing, or the big uh, plus, I guess, of what we're doing today. We're going to do these from a seated position. Okay, so we are going to start with our feet flat on the floor. Our feet are about hip width apart. And to begin with, we're going to um, just have a straightforward motion. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Let's go ahead and pull in through that abdominal area. If you haven't seen the abdominal bracing or the core bracing video, um, that's a really good one to check out just to kind of get um, a good foundational understanding of what I'm talking about here. So we're going to pull the belly button in. Our heart, no, this is the head. <laughs> the head is over the heart. The heart is over the hips. We're nice and tall. And then we pull the belly button in. We pull the front body in. We pull the sides in. Good. Now we're ready. So let's cross the heart. Hands on the shoulders or as close to the shoulders as they can get. We're pulling in nice and uh, nice and tall. Stand, pulling in nice and tight. Sitting up nice and tall. <laughs> My tongue is tied today. All right, here we go. We're going to lean forward, reaching our elbows toward our legs, allowing those abdominal muscles to really tighten and strengthen and pull us down. And then we come back up. And we're going to pull forward, bringing the elbows toward the legs, and then come on up. Good. Let's exhale as we go forward. And then we'll inhale as we sit up. Good. Now, if your arms, if your elbows are not getting all the way down to your legs, that's okay. We're still using those core muscles to move us forward. And then we're sitting back up and we're pulling with those abdominal muscles, pulling us forward and sitting back up. So even if you can't get all the way down there, that's fine. If you're here, you're still using those muscles to crunch forward or to pull forward. Okay. Let's do a couple more. Good, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Now let's talk about where we're aiming for on our legs, if that makes sense. So instead of going straight down this way, let's aim our elbows a little closer, a little out a little, out a little bit from our bodies, okay? So maybe not all the way to the knees if you can't reach down there, if that doesn't work for your body, but maybe about mid thigh here. Okay, and up, and a couple more, and, and last one, perfect. Okay, so I would start with a set of about 10 if you're comfortable with that. If that's just too much, then start where you can start, okay? If you can start with six or eight, whatever, that's perfect. So do 10 to 12. And then maybe a couple sets of those. So maybe one to three sets. So do that whole thing one to three times. Um, and then, so that's going to really work down through this abdominal area. Now we're going to add a little twist to it, okay? So we're going to keep our arms crossed over the heart. We're sitting up nice and tall, pulling the belly button in, pulling the sides in. Now I'm going to take my elbows and take them to the opposite leg. So I'm going to cross over. I don't want, I'm not going to reach all the way out to my knee. I'm just going to go about couple inches back from the knee, maybe about five or six inches back from the knee, and up, and cross, and up, ooh, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. This is hard to talk through <laughs> any time we do abdominal stuff. Ooh, it's hard to talk through. Good. So we're just crossing over, aiming for that leg, maybe even aiming for the outside of the leg to get a little more twist in there. Good, so now we're working a little bit more through the sides of the abdominal area, getting that twist in. Good, 
Good. Let's try a few more. And last one. And there we go. Good. All right. Woo. Good work. So it's the same for that one. I would aim for about 10 if you can get to 10. If not, then work yourself toward that. And then do that entire, so 10 on each side. And then do that one to three times. And it's something that you might need to work toward. Okay, that's, this is a movement we often do like if we're, um, if we're trying to get ourselves up or if we're trying to get out of bed. But this twist, it might be a different movement for you. So it might be something that you need to work toward and that's perfectly fine. So start where you are, do what you can do, not what you can't do. <laughs> that makes sense and then continue to work from there. So thank you for joining me and we will have more videos in this series on how to strengthen our core muscles and strengthen our abs and um, thank you again for joining me and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.